um, we are recording this session. Um, so I hope that um, other students will be able to come and view this and really get their questions answered. Um, so thank you guys once again for joining us for the student panel. Um, if you do have questions, please put those in the chat form. You will go to, um, at the bottom of your screen, you'll click chat, and those questions will only go to me um, they, as the host of the session. So please feel free to ask any question that you may have, and then I will ask those to the group and um, let those students answer. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and just have um, the students introduce themselves, and um, we'll go from there. Hi, my name is Gabriel West. <clears throat> I'm a mechanical engineering major, uh, sophomore, and um, I'm I'm a I'm from Kingwood, Texas, which is northeast Houston. Hi, my name is Matthew. I'm a junior biology major, and I'm from Beaumont, Texas. Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm a sophomore mechanical engineering major, and I'm from Lake Jackson, Texas. All right, well, it's nice to meet everybody. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna get started with, I have a couple of questions um, that I already have uh, wrote down. I'm gonna ask you guys those. Um, Gabriel, we'll start with you um, with the question of why did you choose your major? Okay, so I chose my major because I've always been into um, putting things together, figuring out how things work, um, good things, and especially when it comes to cars. As I got a little bit older, um, like around 13, 14, I started to really develop a passion for cars and see just how, just how enthusiastic I got about the automobile. So I knew right then and there that somewhere down the line, my career was hopefully going to take me out to the automotive industry and um, working on designing and building, building cars. Awesome. All right, our next question is for Matthew. Um, what is your plan once you graduate? Um, once I graduate, I do plan on coming back to Lamar uh, to do the, um, to get my master's of business. And then after that, I plan on getting into clinical trials and drug research. So basically, like, like if uh, a company is developing a new drug that's proven to be safe by the FDA, I would administer that into uh, volunteering patients to see um, what the next steps are in that drug's development. Awesome, awesome. Um, Jaslyn, what has been your um, best experience while at Lamar University? Oh, I'm sorry, wrong question. <laughs> Why did you um, choose Lamar? Um, I chose Lamar because of its amazing engineering program. Um, I really liked that here at Lamar, they focused on keeping their students um, successful in their courses rather than trying to weave them out. Um, I also really like the opportunities that Lamar has to offer um, with all the different degrees. Um, I also like that all the professors um, are very helpful. So that helps me a lot to choose Lamar um, and you get to really know your professors one on one. Um, so yeah, that's why I chose Lamar. Okay. Um, and then uh, Tatum, thank you for joining us. If you'll go ahead and just introduce yourself and then tell us what your best experience at Lamar has been. <clears throat> okay, hi everyone. My name is Tatum Kieschnick. I'm a senior here at Lamar University and I'm an Applied Arts and Sciences student and I'm from Nederland, Texas. Um, my favorite experiences from Lamar University would have to be one, working for the LU crew. Um, because I've met so many great friends and I'm sure that's how it is for any on-campus job at all. Um, I've been here for four years, so uh, there's something good going on, obviously. Um, but another thing is I joined a sorority my freshman semester on campus. And so throughout the past four years, I've been involved in that as well. And it's just getting involved here is so easy. And that's another thing that I love about campus. Awesome. Um, one question that we had come in, um, which Jaslyn, you already answered this, but if anybody else would like to answer, um, you know, when you were trying to decide on what uh, college or university to attend, um, how did you choose Lamar University um, over the other campuses that you may have visited? 
Ladies first, Tatum. Hmm? Me? Um, I chose Lamar because um, I was in initially looking at the nursing program, and we have a very successful nursing program here at Lamar University. Um, but it's also, I've visited several other campuses all throughout Texas, Louisiana, and I just really found the community here at Lamar University, like, very welcoming and home-like, and um, we have a very beautiful campus, and you really can't beat our dorms, so. <laughs> Speaking of dorms, um, does anybody live on campus? Yes? <laughs> okay, um, well, could you guys kind of explain or um, just a brief, you know, what, what are the dorms like? Um, what's your favorite part of living um, on campus and living in our resident halls? Do you want to go first, Jason? Uh, yeah. So the layout of our rooms are basically their apartment style. So you have a um, mutual area with your roommate, which is like the living room. Then you each have your own bedrooms um, that has your bed, your closet. It comes with a desk, um, a side table, and then you share a bathroom. You have the double vanity um, sinks. And then you each have like a medicine cabinet on the side and then you share um, the only thing that you technically share would be the toilet and the bathtub and those are connected into like kind of a separate little room i think my favorite thing about our dorms is probably it being apartment style and being renovated and not having to share you know community bathrooms or hallway bathrooms or anything like that you only have one other roommate unless you do pick like let's say um the housing plan that has two other roommates but overall it's just going to be one other person with you Awesome. Gabriel, did you wanted to add something? Um, yeah, so for mine, for me, it was really, uh, I'm a very independent person. So being able to live on campus and um, have my own place, because I've lucked out that I actually have a scholarship that covers my housing, and uh, Jasmine does as well. But um, so we're lucky we don't have to worry about having to pay for housing. Mm -hmm. And um, just being able to have that extra space to have my own little area where I can do whatever I want with it, design it anyway, set up the furniture and any different kind of have like my own my own my own property. Technically it's Lamar's, but during the semester I can pretty much do whatever I want with it. And having that option to um really do with what I want and also again being on campus and having the accessibility to everything that's on campus. Like if I I don't have to worry about driving somewhere to go get something to eat. If want to, I can just walk up to, I can go, well, I don't walk, I ride my longboard everywhere, but I can ride up to D hall or go out to the set and get something to eat. Um, everything's really accessible. If I'm late for class, it's not a big deal because I can still make it on time. Uh, those are the main points for me with living on campus. Awesome. Um, how how would a student go about um, applying for scholarships or um, getting scholarships? Do y'all have any advice on that? Uh, maybe not necessarily the process, but just any advice on how they can they can get scholarships or even go about you know contacting somebody. So one thing is every oh. good. I was going to say, I would first say um, to always reach out to the scholarship office. Their email address is scholarships at lamar.edu. Um, always reach out to them. Um, and then I can kind of give you a little bit more. But Gabriel, go ahead and if you had some advice to give them. Okay, yeah. So um, the applications, op the scholarship applications open up every October for the following, uh, the following semester or the following year. Like, for example, October started opened up the scholarship applications for this upcoming fall or this upcoming year. And um, you can apply for, you have a general application. Lamar makes it really easy. You have a general application that you can go and apply for and it sends your application out to just a ton of different scholarship uh, opportunities where you can go and get uh, random endowment scholarships. Like I got one for mechanical engineering this year just by filling out, or this last year, just by filling out the general application. So it makes it really easy. And then also we have specific scholarships um, that you can apply for that have, um, that are more specific. Like there's one that always pops up on mine. It's a creative writing um, scholarship. Haven't really looked into it. I'm not quite sure what it all entails, but there's specific ones that you can go and make additional applications for that I'm assuming would be more selective in, in, need, in wanting more information on the student and why they 
what they give the money out for. But Lamar makes it really, really easy. It's all right on your uh, through your Lamar uh, through the website. You can just go and click on click on the link, the scholarships link, and uh, just fill out as many as you like. Anybody else want to add anything? No. Okay. So um, um, just so you. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Jasmine. I was just going to say um, to apply for everything as much as possible, even sometimes if you see like, oh, maybe um, I don't think I, you know, qualify or anything, still apply because you never know. Um, because sometimes if they don't have, you know, someone, there are so many scholarships that some people don't apply for some of them um, and you could still get them. So that's all. Yeah, that's for sure. Apply. And um, that link that Gabriel's talking about, if you go to lamar.edu and in the top black bar, um, click LU Connect. Um, you can see that um, once you click out, you connect, there's a students and a faculty, and you click students and you choose my scholarships. And right there, you can do your general application, and then it shows you all the scholarships that you're eligible for to apply for, and then ones that you may not necessarily think you meet the requirements, but like Jasmine said, still go ahead and apply for those. All right, so the next question that we have that's coming in. Um, is what is your favorite building on campus and why? So if you guys all wanna kind of, go ahead, Matthew. That one. Um, my favorite building at Lamar is our science and technology building. Um, it's, it's mostly geared toward engineering majors, which I'm not an engineering major, but the best thing that I think that they have there is our study rooms. So upstairs, there are some very nice study rooms that are pretty well kept. They have, uh, some of the study rooms have TVs in them that have HDMI cables that you can connect to your laptop. So if you need to practice, like say, like a PowerPoint slide or like some kind of presentation, you can get your friends up there and practice giving it in front of a small crowd. Or if you just need like quiet, there's a lot of quiet spaces up there. There's writing rooms. So if you need to write a paper, you can go in there. And one, of, uh, one thing a lot of people don't know about this building is that the study rooms are actually open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So anytime you need to go and study for like a big exam, say the library is closed and you don't, you, you can't go home because you don't, you can't focus at home. You can just go over to the side tech and it's always open. And there's usually a good amount of space to study in. Awesome. And obviously uh, being an engineering building, there's the creative workshop in there. I've never personally been in there, but I know I've heard from a lot of engineering majors that there's a lot of uh, useful tools in there and they have events in there from time from time and again that's very so good. Fun. Awesome. anybody else have a favorite building that may be other than the side tech i really like the rec um i mean i don't work out but <laughs> i used to play intramural sports which i really love to do um i was always playing either all girl sports or we even have co-ed sports where my sorority would excuse me my sorority would pair up with one of the fraternities on campus and we'd play against other organizations um we have so many different things in the rec and we have like basically brand new exercise equipment um like i said even though i don't use it i still see people use it and for, so like a lot of my friends do go there and they report that that's one of their favorite places to go between classes they like to go work out there really often um we have a pretty cool rock wall so you can go and climb the rock wall and try and climb it 132 times to equal a mile. Yep. So again, I've climbed that once, but it was a great experience. So <laughs> we also have a smoothie shack inside, or it's called Big Red Juice Bar. And you can go in there and get a smoothie or some fresh fruit, pre-made salads and wraps. Um, just, you know, pretend you worked out and go get some snacks, so. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? No? All right, so. Um, the next question is, um, how do I get involved and what is there to get involved in? So um, getting involved first is really important on our campus. I feel like um, probably up to 70 to 90 percent of our students are involved in at least something. Um, a good way to start getting involved is during orientation. Um, there's going to be like an organization fair and there's going to be so many different tables um, and different representatives from organizations there. I would suggest talking to as many as possible. Um, definitely like your first week, your week of welcome, there's going to be organizations all over the place as well um, talking to you and um, I would say give everything a chance. 
Um, even if, you know, let's say like an art club and you don't really know if you're good at art or anything, you know, give it a chance or um, Greek life and things like that. Um, even if you don't end up picking a fraternity or a sorority, you know, at least give it a try. And you're going to make so many um, new friends. You're going to meet so many people on campus and having those connections is also very important. Um, also, if you for some reason don't find an organization that you do want to be a part of, it is pretty easy. I know Gabe is starting an organization of his own. Um, all you have to do is find um, a like professor to be like an advisor for it, um, get some people together and then, you know, what is it? You show your proposal to Lamar um, and they can get you started with that. Um, so those are a few ways to get involved as well as keeping up with Lamar social medias um, and finding organization social medias as well. Awesome. Anybody else want to add anything, share anything, share an experience that you may have? Uh, she did a pretty good job, but um, mm -hmm. I definitely say getting involved Getting involved is important because whether, even if it's not necessarily getting involved in a club, but it's just getting involved with your graduating class. Like there's a lot of guys that I've met um, in, the, in the two years that I've been here that um, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to do half the stuff that I've done had I not gone out and met those guys. Most of them were in my class, but some of them were just uh, like someone that I saw once at, at NSOs or whatever. And I decided to keep, keep tabs on them and get to know them more. And now I'm part of their club and they're part of my club. And uh, I, there's getting involved is absolutely crucial for any college in general, but highly recommended here at Lamar because we have so many opportunities and that there's so much room for growth at Lamar as well. Yeah, agreed. Um, well, thank y'all for your feedback. Um, next question um, is, what kind of events like um, are there to do on the weekends? Events or things to do around campus in the area on the weekends? <laughs> okay. Well, um, well, for me, a lot of times that I do with being at um, being in a fraternity, I spend probably eighty five percent of my time with with at least one of those guys, one of my brothers. So a lot of the times, I just go and we go and go out to eat or catch a movie or something like that. Or even if we're just hanging out at the dorms, usually I'm with them almost 24 seven. And we always just find something to do, whether it's go out to the new, um, is it five under? Is that what it's called? The top golf thing? Yeah. Whether it's go out to five under for a week for a couple hours and go and hit some golf balls or go and find a place to go fishing or something like that. Um, I'm not real big into like going to big events and whatnot. I like just kind of hanging out and chilling out with my friends more often. So regarding events, I'm probably not the best person to go to, but Mardi Gras was phenomenal this year. <laughs> so when I, I like to do on the weekends, um, in the fall it's easy because you always have football games on Saturdays. So you can go to the tailgate with your friends um, then go to the football game. Um, in the springtime, we have baseball, basketball, like you name it. In the fall, we also have soccer games you can go watch. Um, I'm an outdoorsy person. And so we also have a park here in Beaumont called um, Terrell Park. And I actually just discovered that they have a really cool walking trail called Cattail Marsh. And so if you go there, you can like go walking, ride your bike um, and just like be in nature. So it's a cool little hiking trail that I think ends up being like eight miles long haven't that, like conquered that yet but it's just something interesting and outdoorsy to do and you get to kind of see what the area is about and like what kind of wildlife we have and so that's a pretty cool thing to do um I also like to go fishing or whatever with my friends um we're also not very far away from the beach so you can go to Crystal Beach it's like a 45 minute drive from here um not the best water but it's like a really fun place to be with your friends it's more of a social gathering rather than let's go swim in the water <laughs> and then um if you guys are wondering more like events on campus um usually almost every single weekend some organization or lamar is hosting an event on campus um sometimes fridays they have stuff sometimes saturdays they have stuff of course like tatum said during the fall we have football games uh tailgating so a lot of that is taken in part um, but also like in the spring, a lot of organizations will have their philanthropy events or they'll have, you know, um, I know sometimes they have like um, these concert type things or like drag shows you can go to. Um, so there are a lot of events on campus too during the weekend. One of my uh, favorite uh, 
feedback statements that I've gotten it from like a, somebody coming to visit campus is, uh, man, every time I come here, there's always something going on. So I think that, <laughs> that speaks to um, the amount of pride that our organizations take in from promoting their organization, because um, you can always find an organization doing something on campus um, during the week and on the weekends. So I think that's pretty great. Um, somebody asked if y'all could just, each one of you could just take a second to give like a one sentence um, advice on, um, it's my first time in college, I'm a first time freshman, like what, what's one sentence advice that you can give them? Don't put off studying. <laughs> That's a good one. Get involved. Definitely study hard and make sure you're keeping up with tasks, but don't forget to have fun as well because your junior and senior year, you don't have as much time for that. <laughs> um, mine would be is stay positive and um, don't be afraid to ask for help. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of help, um, just some of the resources um, on campus. Have any of you utilized any of the resources that we have on campus? So I've done, in the past, I've definitely taken advantage of our STARS tutoring program. Um, I've, I've, I've had, I had some trouble, especially last spring with CalTutes, making it all click. So I did usually at least once every other week, I do a STARS meeting and just go over what I, what had been, um, what they've discussed in the lecture classes over the last week or so and just kind of getting an, another perspective on it to help me understand it all really, really helps a lot. And it's totally free because it's involved and in, you pay for it ahead of time through tuition and other fees and whatnot. So you don't have to worry about paying for it when you go up there or anything like that. Yeah, uh, I think that's something that's pretty cool that we offer is we have a lot of resources on campus, but um, our tutoring service is one of the top notch ones. We have um, star tutoring, which, you know, can cover um, many different um, subjects. We also have the writing center um, for when you're doing papers and then we have the math um, lab as well um, where you can get help with any of your math um, related courses. So I think that what's really interesting and really cool about our about STARS to me um, is that it's very individualized. So if you are struggling and you st need help but you study better with somebody um, or you study better, you know, doing it a certain way, or if you're struggling with time management more so than you are with actually studying the material, um, the tutors can help you in any way, um, no matter if it's the study material or if it's the way you're studying or if it's time management. I mean, that's pretty cool about the tutoring center. That's from my perspective. <laughs> um, so um, another question we had is, um, what is, um, your favorite thing to do, like, when you're on campus and you have, like, an hour break, what is your favorite thing to do? Like, where, where do you go? Do you go eat? Do you go, um, is there places to eat on campus? You know, kind of, what, what would you do if you had an hour break in between classes on, uh, and you're on campus? Um, I usually will run to the set, um, the Setzer Center, and I'll either get something to eat or um, sit and chat with friends. Um, other than that, like if I have a test coming up or something important that I need to get done, I'll go to the library. Um, I'll stop by the library really quick, get some Starbucks, sit at work, or if I need to print anything out in the library. So that's usually what I do if I have like an hour. If it's a good day, like nice weather outside and it's pretty warm, I'll go get like a milkshake from the marketplace in the Setzer Center and just go chill in the quad because we have such a beautiful quad and um, just kind of enjoy the day. Yeah, I definitely would go with, definitely agree with Tatum. I mean, any chance I can, if it's nice outside, I love to go and just sit out in the quad mainly because especially like in the mornings, either during the eight o'clock classes or just before them, it's usually really quiet because most people aren't even on campus at that point and the few that are, are in class. Um, so that's my favorite time to go and just kind of relax in a way to kind of help me get like, help me get in a good mood if I wake up on the wrong side of the bed before I go into class so I'm not just beat down all day long. Yeah. 
Yeah, I tend to agree. If it's a nice day, I'd like to go walk around. If it's lunchtime, the set is definitely a good place to go with Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, and Jason's Deli in there. And then depending on, like, if I have a long day ahead of me, maybe I'll go take a nap somewhere, maybe <laughs> either in the set or even in my car if it comes down to it. <laughs> but there's plenty of ways on campus to kill time besides just taking a nap, for sure. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, you kind of mentioned it, um, the couple of places that we have. What are, um, if we can just, somebody just kind of say the different areas that we have that you can eat on campus? Oh, Tiny House Barbecue. It's back behind the, is it the nursing building that's back behind? Well, it's behind like the Health and Human Performance Complex. In the yeah, that one. Yeah, between the, the best place to eat on campus, hands down. What other place? Biscuit is amazing. But we have the food truck. We have the dining hall. Um, I mentioned before that we have the big red juice bar for like really your healthier options. Um, and then of course we have the Panda Express Chick Fil A, Jason's Deli. Um, and then in the library we have a Starbucks as well. So. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, and then if you live in the dorms, you also have access to one other place. Um, the students we call it the C store. Um, but inside there is a Papa John's, and then it's basically like a convenience style, convenience store style store, I guess. <laughs> and so you can get your Papa John's, but then at the same time, you can get all the junk food that you would ever need. So like chips, <laughs> drinks, milkshakes, ice cream. Um, they even have like essential stuff like toilet paper and paper towels and laundry detergent and stuff like that, too. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I think that we're going to go ahead and wrap up. Um, I know y'all kind of already gave your one line of advice, um, but um, is there a last minute thing that any of you want to share? Um, favorite quote, favorite thing that you like to say about Lamar, anything that you want to share um, before we end this session? I want to say make sure to go out to the different sporting events because um, all, all of our all of our student athletes they love it when we go out and support. Um, come join the flock. <laughs> um, I would say college is what you make it. So um, really try to get involved and make the best of everything you do. That's what I was going to say, Jocelyn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely. No matter where you go, college is what you make it. So it's really up to you to just to kind of design what your life is going to look like for the next four years. And so whether you get involved, whether you don't, whether you take on a leadership position, that's what's going to make your college years like the best that there is. So it's up to you. And to kind of add on to what Jaslyn and Tatum said, make sure and take advantage of the time that you have. Don't just sit around and play video games all day, go out there, get involved, study hard, and get the work done that you need to get done because now's your opportunity to do it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you, the four of you, for um, giving us a little look into what it's like to be a student. Um, thank you for those of you that um, joined us during this session. We hope you got your questions answered. If you have any more, um, the follow-up email that we'll send out, just make sure that you ask those questions then. Um, and we're so, so, so happy that you guys joined us today for this session. And then if you were able to join us for the others, um, we thank you for joining us virtually. And we hope that you and your family stay safe during this time. And we hope you can come and visit us on campus um, soon. All right. Thanks and have a good day.